Hello friends. In this video, we are going to set the values against the different preferences in the next module. So let's start. First, log in with your username and uh, password of Koha staff interface and uh, then hit Koha administration and open global system preferences here. And then staff client. So you can see in the staff client there are many preferences and we need to set if we want these preferences to act accordingly. The first one is the appearance and it has many preferences. Display 856U as image. So if you dis want to display the U uniform uh, uniform resource identifier in 856u field as an image so you can choose here result page detail page only both result and detail page so you can set note the corresponding accessibility option must be turned on if you want if you use this option then you have to keep this option on so let us see display icon access lt yes so the format audience and material type icon in s access lt mark 21 result add detail page in the staff client then intranet includes use includes file from the includes directory in the template directory instead of includes leave blank to disable if you want to leave this blank so it will get disabled intranet circulation on home html so the following html in its own DIY, div on the bottom of the home page of the circulation module so if you add the html code it will display at the bottom on the circulation module then internet color style sheet if you want to add any color style sheet so you can add and you can keep here and uh, you can hyperlink if you are keeping in the remote server and give the path so it will connect to your css which you have kept and uh, you change the color of your internet then intranet favicon if you want to use suppose this is my favicon of koha if i want to use intranet favicon so first i have to keep the favicon in staff uh, means uh, server and then i have to hyperlink with http colon double slash the next is the intranet main user block you can modify here by adding the html for the main page of the staff client if you want add anything so you can add or you can leave it if you don't want then intranet navigation if you want to add navigation on the left of the more menu at the top each page on the staff client so you can add the html here and then you can add the internet navigation then internet report home html if you want the report module to be displayed on home so you can add html and hyperlink the report module then internet slip printer in using javascript so you can do this by adding the javascript for printing slips in the very intra means decorating way Intranet style sheet if you want add any CSS file so you can add by keeping the file at server and hyperlinking with HTTP colon double slash then Intranet user CSS if you include CSS on all pages it will change the color or change the style for all staff client the intranet user js javascript if you add the code here it will change the 
look and feel of all pages in the staff client then staff client base url this staff client is located at and uh, this should be complete url starting with http or https do not include a trailing slash in the url this must be filled in correct correctly for cache so if you want staff client base url so you can give here generally we do not use or do not change staff language selection mode so if you want you can choose whether it should display on top or footer or both top and footer so it is up to you then staff login instruction so the following HTML and staff client login page so you can give the for login instruction if you want for all the staff so you can add the instruction here by using HTML the best way for adding the code is that is uh, there is a website www.w3schools.com so this will help you to add the HTML code in the EG mode then template there is only one template use the PROG theme on the staff interface you don't have to change it then access LT detail display display detail in the staff client using this style sheet it is already defined if you don't want you can leave it empty the same access LT list display so it is default then access LT result display it is default so I'm not going to change if I leave it blank so no access LT style sheet will be applicable for any now the other is the options in that audio alerts if I enable this option so it will alert by giving some sound for events defined in the audio alerts section of administration hide patron name it will show or do not show the name of patron that have items checked out or on hold on detail page of the place hold screen suppose any user is reserving the book so it will not show the name of user who has taken so generally you can show it is up to you or up to your policy if there is no objection so you can show it there is no harm in that then internet book bag so the cart option in the staff client internet catalog search pull down yes so it a search field pull down for search the catalog boxes staff detail item selection enable item selection in record detail page use WIS IWIG in system preferences yes so this editor when editing certain HTML system preferences view ISBD allow staff to view record in isbd form on the staff client i will suggest not to see this because most of the time when we enter the record in mark format the information is displayed in the normal view and uh, isbd if you see only library staff will be able to understand generally this is not understood by the user so better to get the information use the normal view but it is your choice whether you want to see in ISBD mode or not option is given view level labeled mark allow staff to view record in labeled mark form on the staff client and then view mark allow staff to view record in plain mark form on the staff client so these are all values we have set against the preferences given in the staff client hope this will help to set the values for staff client in koha so thank you for watching this video let us see more in the next video and uh, see how those values can be set for a smooth functioning of koha so thank you once again